But I did the move for the first time, something that a lot of people do, something that Loren has done with me. Uh, I've I've witnessed it, and that is smuggle booze into the movies. No. My man. I, <laughs> I got little uh, airplane bottles. I lined the inner pockets, and in I went. <laughs> At least you took something that was easy to quietly open. I take champagne. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And you have to pop a cork. Yeah. And, and you have like no shame in doing it. You're like, boop. No, I, yeah. I, whoever's with me, I'm like, cough now. She also brings her, her butler with her who then says, glass, madam. Here's a question we have for you. Where did you guys sneak alcohol into? Like, think about the different places because Roy did it into the movie theater, which obviously Loren has done. But like, I wonder if you could sneak alcohol like, I don't know. Uh, I, I get, like, into sporting events. You can do that. But, like, anybody sneak alcohol into, like, a religious ceremony? I uh, mean, some of them drag. I, I could understand. A yeah. funeral? Well, uh, weren't we with, wasn't that with you uh, when your friend at the Virginia Tech hockey game he smuggled some in, and they almost wanted to take him to jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, in colleges, you can't bring alcohol. Oh, they're, yeah. That's yeah, like they're a, dry campuses. Yeah, they're dry campus. You, you ever go to court, and you have to sit there no. all day, so you smuggle some alcohol that, in to I, court? That's not smart, man. I don't know. It's I'm just throwing smart. it out there. 704-570-9595. Tell us if your team, Roy, did you smuggle alcohol into somewhere? Oh, you know, now that we're vocalizing it, it sounds like we have problems. <laughs> But you went to the movies. It's not like you were going to, you know, court, an AA meeting. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, people were smuggling like baby bottles of alcohol on planes during the pandemic because they weren't doing service. They're still not in my they class. They did service. Which, they did service in the flight I was just on, and we were sitting. They in, did alcohol service. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know about no, alcohol service, alcohol. but they did. But well, last time I flew, they they gave me beverages too. I think yeah. beverages, yes, but not alcohol. What's the difference, though? What like, are you if talking you're, about? There's a difference between a Coke and a beer. No, no, no. I know that. But, like, what's the difference? If you're going to serve something that, like, people take their masks off with to drink anyway, then just give them the alcohol. Right. Like, if you're going to give me a Coca-Cola, what's the big deal about giving me some Jack? Right. Because people are going absolutely nuts on the plane without alcohol. Mm. Well, maybe well, if you gave them some alcohol, why. they'd simmer down. Yeah, they <laughs> calm down. No, we need to give these people uh, drunk on these planes. Did you feel guilty at any point, Roy? Did you feel like somebody was watching you and you shouldn't have been doing this? No, not at all. Okay. I felt very comfortable. In fact, I, I wanted to drink more, but I had to stop. Seven oh four texted and said, definitely smuggle alcohol into funerals. Really? And I wanted to complain because the bathrooms were disgusting, but I'm like, I don't want to bring attention to me. I'm the one with, you know, rum in my pockets. Right. And, and, and M&Ms in my pocket. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Jesse in Concord. Welcome to the Meanie Boy in the Red Morning Show. Where do you smuggle? <laughs> um, hey, I smuggled alcohol into a nightclub in Charlotte, um, which was totally not, it was totally risky, but... It was great. I saved some money. <laughs> that is true. It is expensive to drink alcohol in the clubs, and you got to yeah. wait in line, wait for the bartender to give it to you. Or but wait they for pat the you down, to bring it. don't they? Um, so they didn't pat me down. I was at a specific one that didn't pat you oh. down, which I was lucky. But um, all my friends were like, "Yes, you didn't. No, you can't do that. You have to find a trash can." I was like, "No, I'm not wasting this." <laughs> yeah, I wonder because like. When we would go to football games and stuff, we would smuggle the alcohol in in our boots. So mm-hmm. I wonder, like a Coyote Joe's, like how many people actually smuggle alcohol in there? Oh, you know what? I'm going to Coyote Joe's in like two weeks for a friend's birthday. I will let you know. Well, no, hang on. I don't want to <laughs> stop. No, we, we're the, not encouraging it. They're, they're a client of our radio station. Let's not be smuggling things into our clients' uh, place just, of business. She's going to observe and let us know. All right. Thanks, yeah, Jesse. Exactly.